In the previous video, we learned how to create a basic API route. In this video, and over the next few videos, let's understand more about working with API routes. In this video, let's focus on handling a GET request. Before we start, I want to mention that for this topic on API routes, we will not be focusing on the user interface. Instead, we will be relying on Thunder Client, which is a REST API client for VS Code. It will help us make the necessary requests to test our API routes. Please pause the video and install this extension. If you have it installed, let's proceed. For our example, we are not going to set up a new database as that would become a distraction in itself. We're going to keep it very simple and maintain the data in memory which of course implies the data is lost when we restart the application or refresh the page. But that shouldn't matter as our focus is primarily on creating API routes. Now to respond to a GET request, we need some data to begin with. Within the source folder, within the lib folder, I'm going to create a new file called comments.js. I'm going to copy paste an array of three comments. You can think of these as user comments on a YouTube video. Each comment has an ID and some text. With our data now in place, let's proceed to create our API route. Now it's not a mandatory convention, but one we can follow for clear separation and better organization. And that convention is to place all API routes in a folder called API. So within the routes folder, create a new folder called API. Within this folder, let's create another folder called comments. And this folder will contain plus server.js file. Within the file, we define and export a get handler function. First, import the three comments from lib folder. Next, export a function called get. The function will return a new response object. We want to respond with the three comments in JSON format. So as first argument, specify json.stringify passing in comments. Second argument, we set content type in headers. Application slash JSON. Since it is common to return JSON from an API route, SwellKit provides a convenience function for generating these responses. At the top, import json helper function from at swelljs slash kit. Now we can return json passing in comments. Really simple. That completes our API route to handle a get request. To test this handler, open Thunder Client extension and click on new request. HTTP verb will be get, but the URL we change to HTTP localhost port 5173 slash API slash comments. We can leave everything else as is. When I click on the send button, you can see we have a problem. Connection was refused by the server. Ideally, this should never happen, but it does, and we have to work our way around it. And the workaround is to replace localhost with square brackets, and within square brackets, colon colon one. If we now hit send, we have status 200 okay, and we get back our array of three comments. The get handler is working as expected. At the moment, we are using Thunder Client to fetch the comments, but in a real-world application, 
the UI would make a request to fetch the comments on page load or on click of a button. But the bottom line is that we are able to define API endpoints with SwellKit. In the next video, let's understand how to handle a post request. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.